I really love getting that free game from Tommy. You got the stingy brim on. <laughs> I like it. Because he be dropping them gems. Last week, the women had the power to eliminate. Unfortunately, they decided our brother Troy. This ain't no Pac-Man. I can get my head cut off. The power to eliminate, back in y'all's hands. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm inviting you all to one of Houston's most beautiful properties for an elegant masquerade ball. Oh, yeah. I typically go to events that require you to dress up. So anytime I'm choosing somebody for myself, I take all that into account. Still having to try to figure out which one of these women are gonna get most of my time. Already gonna be trying to skate on ice. <sighs> this is gonna be tough. Kyra, we have history and it ended abruptly, but now is a whole new ball game. Come here, I feel like there's a lot of space. <laughs> We got a history, you know, but I've kept an eye on you. I don't think that I was like immediately, hey, let me be yeah. on, on Kyra. The top people that, that I'm mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to get to know. Okay. I see a guy who is about his business. He's well-educated, he's an engineer. When he can let down that whole BS persona, we have good conversations. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how this continues to blossom. It's tough talking to any woman, especially somebody you know, and you know that they're feeling you, and you have to give them that honesty. I'm used to seeing Alexis as a parent. I'm not used to seeing her as, you know, somebody I'm being intimate with. How I see Alexis yeah. is still the same way I tried. It's just not, Yeah, you it's know. just not a connection there. Yeah. I will say that I was a bit disappointed. Of course, I have, like, the strongest connection with Kyra. Go after the one you want. I already know who she is. I was really looking forward to a one-on-one -on -one date with Mr. Ron. I was finally happy to spend a little QT with the QT. I heard from a little birdie that Stacy likes seafood. I mean, probably the Creole in her. I uh, also heard she likes champagne. I wouldn't just put myself out here if my children weren't ready for someone to come into our lives as well. We're getting down to where we have to make a lot connections. Of yeah. I don't know, I just need clarity from you. Um. Who's your real number one? Day with Stacy was kind of awkward. Stacy was the woman I was kind of looking for, but she made me choose between her and Cassantium. We fit. Easy fit, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We don't let that part of each other. We like doing a lot of the same things. I chose Cassandra because I had a better connection with her than Stacy. I'm ecstatic about going on a date with Amber, you know, that's my number one. I absolutely love Amber. Now we're going to repeat the mantras. Today, I am happy. Today, I am happy. Today, I am strong. Today, I am strong. I got to see him on a different scale. It showed more of his strong side, you know, powerful. I always really like to do it the in the sun, yes. yeah. We're friends already to me, like this is the guy I'm interested in. So to me, you can only go up. How do you feel about marriage? My thoughts on marriage is, hey, you wanna get married? Let's get married. <laughs> I don't think that marriage has to be the epitome. You are okay with being in a long-term committed relationship and that you don't have to get married. If we want to do it, like, let's do it. But is that the ultimate goal? No. I get what you're saying, though, because I feel the same way. 
To me, if I have a soulmate, everything else will come, is how I think. Damn, we on the same, like, this is too, like, really, who are you? It just feels right, and it's easy. Cynthia came in the building, that was the first time I seen her with the cleavage and the slit in the dress, she came with it. I start off with the basics and then uh, let y'all freestyle a little bit. Oh, y'all, it's gonna be more of us. I did think we was gonna have an actual teacher, but it was Ron. Oh, Lord. This is not sauce. <laughs> Try to get everybody to kind of master the moves on one-on-one. -on -one. Somebody else is your number one. During the ladies' lounge, Alexis confirmed that she was Ron's number one. Ron, he started at the bottom, now he's here. He has told me that I am his number one. I got a top three. So that's it's I'm not still sure. the same? Hold on now. Ron wasn't my number one at first, but after our first date, he had kind of like skyrocketed up. So just to hear that I was number two, I was like, oh, hold on. You need to figure it out, sir. If not, we're gonna have some problems. I don't do number two. I'm looking for a partner. Can you be yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. Can you be that? That's the question. You said, I, you see that in me, so. I see signs of it, but it. I think her saying, I gotta be number one in this was a selfish move. It was kind of not about me. No man has ever just been like, man, did you see the set of personalities on her? I invited Tressa out more than anything to... So like Fufu, for example, do you ever make that hot? No, uh -uh. Okay. no I don't dip and dab. Never, ever use imitation vanilla. Really? Use, Why not? Because the process that they use is nasty. Oh. A beaver has a sack. Okay. An anal sack. Right. The vibe was still the same. I felt like I was with the homie. We could go all day, but I just wanted to invite you because at this point with Dietrich, I am just gonna observe. If we can figure out if we true, if there really truly is a connection. <sighs> if a man wants you, you gonna know it. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility that, that one of these connections that I have with the ladies is not gonna be strong enough to carry her through into the next phase. I came in there looking like I was getting ready to get married. You know why? Because it was a symbolism of my future and what I hope to happen. Liz? When I walked into the masquerade ball, I was feeling like the bell of the ball, okay? You look good. Whatever you thought, felt, or whatever you thought you knew, you didn't know nothing. <laughs> People already think we together, and I want them to think that. You what? I really have a strong connection with David, probably because we were raised kind of the same way, and we're very attracted to each other. Liz shows up, just like, damn. Wait till pastor see this. Our first ready to love masquerade ball. A beautiful event like this a curve would not be the same without my favorite person. Ooh. My ride or die. Put your hands together for yeah. the one and only Jacqueline Miles. <laughs> It's time to take the mask off. She know exactly who my ass is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> she moving up to the number one. 
What? Is she moving up to you number one? I need to get the layers to kind of come across. I know she moves a lot slower. I feel like Ron is kind of on a fence with Chrysanthemum. He's just afraid to go for the gusto. You are an alpha male. We go into a marriage uh, wanting, and we say we want a happy marriage. And what I'm really looking for is joy, because that's everlasting. It's everlasting. Because you have to be friends, yes. <laughs> because you fall in and out of love. And yeah. then there's going to be days that you don't. You have to like them, and you have to love yeah. them. There's going to be days you don't like them, but you know you stick in there because you do love them. Yeah. Sometimes you say, OK, God, yeah. you, you know, what is it that you want me to learn yeah. here? Going into my future marriage that I hope will be with somebody here. I have bonds in with my sister wife. No. They were just together too much. Y'all actually like some of the same guys? We do. We do. Oh, we God. Do. At some point, we got to. Frick gotta we be frick and frick gotta be frick. Yeah. We gotta separate that. We separated. Oh, right. Okay. 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 Expect y'all to be so close. We didn't come here for that. Well, hell, we didn't either. How y'all doing, man? I ain't gonna lie, the whole night I'm looking at Liz and I just made an immense note. Get this woman along. You know how it is, you know, when you're open, you have to be. Also, you have to be cautious of your heart. Mm. Okay, I like that. Thank you. <laughs> Do you think that I can be a match for you? That's a great question. I want somebody that's really striving to become the best version of themselves. Yeah. She's animated. That true self of her is starting to come out. And at the same time, you know, you rubbing on my leg, you know, you know. Who are your top picks and why? You one of them. Okay. I know that you God fearing. Be ladylike. It's like a Michelle Obama presence with you. Oh, thank you. Wow. I am in a conundrum. I was feeling David already, but I would love to go on a one-on-one -on -one date with Jason. I'm saying that's the eyes wide shut party. That was like a Tom Cruise movie, right? Yeah. Got a little freaky, didn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lexus look great. I mean, I already knew she was gonna come with it. Lexus drink looks too fancy. <laughs> I was talking to, of course, Ron. I see you gonna try to run over there and talk to your little number one. Go on over there. I can just feel the eyes to Cassantium, like, <laughs> beating on the back of my head, like, how dare you? <laughs> Ron, we have been talking on the phone up to this point, and it was definitely a connection there. He's intelligent, and he definitely has things to offer and bring to the table. And he's ready to have a family. But AJ's still in the mix. I still have feelings for AJ. She made it seem like her painted this picture that y'all was like really down for each other. So I just wanted to talk to you about that. It's always Alexis and Chrysanthemum. She likes the same people I like, AJ and Ron. If it is genuine, then she will open up. If it ain't, then she's just gonna be surface level as she is now, you know? Cool. Invite me to the wedding. Oh yeah? I'll Seagram'd up, huh? This one, I get that good shit out of y'all right here. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about taking the mask off. Any woman that could show forgiveness and also keep you honest and ask you questions, you know, I got to see something about that. OK. It was a very good day, yeah. I'd probably have to say Liz, foundationally speaking. I like everything I've been seeing. I like the fact that she overcame some personal obstacles as it relates to her being a single parent. She got her own thing going, she's taking care of her business, she's taking care of the household. My number one is Alexis. 
How we move on a daily basis is almost reminiscent on how a relationship would move. All right. Who are we not feeling? You got Chrysanthemum and you got Stacy. They put you in this bag of where you feel like you got to choose between one and the other. Run! Stacy. Okay. I'm not one of your kids. I hate to say it, but Stacy is a little aggressive. The date that we had, really pushing the narrative, it didn't feel authentic to me. I can't see it in the future. Because it's just no romantic involvement there would be Tressie. Don't have a connection with Tressie. I'm just not attracted to her. That's just not for me. If I got a force flirt with you and it still don't really feel comfortable, then you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Sounds like there's two who not make a strong connection. And feel like we've come to a decision. Next week, you know what's happening. Ladies have the power to eliminate. The tension was thick. I mean, super thick. I'm talking Kyra thick. More surprises coming. Any takeaways, maybe had a different perspective. I mean, I know Chrysanthemum and I get a bad rap. Y'all right? scared of getting caught up? Ain't nobody scared of getting caught up. <laughs> no, nobody gets scared of caught up, but we know conversations happen. So finally, we get a date. We do. You did. <laughs> Good. I'm going to share something with you. I was very interested in you. Really? I walked away with an impression like, man, there's probably nothing here. Mm -hmm. I took that into deliberation mm -hmm. with all the guys tonight. Mm -hmm. And the guys came to that you were not right now ready to love. Oh, wow. What? Like, where did that come from? Seeing her on the other side of the table, and as she's breaking down how she feels like this is unfair, that was the first time that I felt she was like real to me. But by this point, it's too late. Everyone is not gonna be upfront and honest about what their expectations are. Then these relationships aren't going to form. I felt like I let my kids down because they were really believing in this process. I had a group meeting at the lounge today. I just, um, you know, I'll be honest with you, Irma. I'm gonna be honest with you. Most of the brothers were saying that you're a queen, that you deserve a king, you know what I'm saying? I absolutely do. Not enough of them was pulling for you. We decided two women are being eliminated this time. Oh, wow. It's unfortunate that the process is uh, over now. It's unfortunate, but I believe my king is still out there. Of course he is, he's just not here. <laughs>